We're in the Train Masters TV studio with Matt Herman from ESU, and you are introducing a brand new uh, DCC system for the North American and Australian markets yeah. called Cab Control. Correct. And uh, one of the things that uh, we wanted to discuss is the Railcom Plus system. What does that allow you to do? Railcom is a two-way communication system and uh, it was developed by Lens. ESU uh, added to it and then we have Railcom Plus and that's kind of become the standard now. So that's uh, you know utilized by other companies around the world as well. So we, it's, it's an open um, you know source of communication. Um, it's used, if you're familiar with LCC, the layout command control, um, it's kind of based on Railcom Plus. So okay. all of the ESU decoders since 2010 uh, have Railcom Plus in them already. So if you've bought a, you know, a, um, a Bowser engine or an Atlas engine or uh, Intermountain that had ESU decoders equipped in them from that time, they actually have this in them already. But we've just never utilized it before because we never really had a system available that knew what to do with that information. Okay. So Railcom Plus can transmit um, an index number for a picture that's in your system already. Um, it can transmit a name. It can transmit the, the, uh, the locomotive number as well. And um, with our cab control system being that full color touchscreen, it'll also show you all of the icons and those will all be pulled into the system when Railcom Plus initiates. So, okay. um, so av as we have our, our little setup here, uh, we've got the cab control hooked up to the track and we've got our, our mobile control two throttle. So I'm just gonna open up the, uh, the, uh, the app. And as we see here, there's nothing in on the active screen So there's no locomotives right in, so, this, so in the system So it's completely now. open. Um, I've deleted everything, so it's just you know, looking for the next engine. So now if I want to add a non-Railcom Plus engine in here, I would go up to this menu and I would go Create Locomotive. And then I would have to go in and give it a name. I mean, you can still do that. Yeah. You can still give it a name even though it's not ESU. We can come up with a picture that we want. We can choose from many that are, that are built into the system already, over 250 system icons plus another 150 extra user icons that we added, or you could put your own picture in. Okay. So those will all be in there. Uh, we could give it the address, um, we could change speed steps, and we could go in and we could choose each individual icon um, that we would have available with the, uh, the mobile control right. too. So for a uh, headlight, which is normally F0, function 0, right. you, you would have a light bulb, bulb as yep. an icon, which yep. and you're looking on the menu, instead of having to remember that F0 is the headlight, you just look for the, for the right. light bulb and you're good to go. So like oh, here's F1, I could go into each one and now we can find F1's typically my bell, so I go down and I find the bell, I choose it, um, it's a toggle on and off rather than a momentary. So I'd have to do that for every single one. And that's possible. We allow that for any decoder out there. It's DCC. But it's going so. to take you a lot of time and you've just bought this awesome Susquehanna locomotive at the right? hobby shop. You don't want to take 20 minutes to load right, everything to in everything one by up. one. Yep. It'd be great if you could just put it on the track and have all that information right. pull right in. So as long as it has an ESU decoder in it, Railcom Plus is set up, all we need to do is, well, let me get back to my main screen here so I can show you. Um, now, there's nothing there, as you see. So right. as I put this on, it's going to, uh, after a couple of seconds, it's going to come up with a little white line across the bottom, and there it is. And it says right on it, NYSW 4050. And you can name that whatever you like. You can use right. the Loke programmer to change the decoders to add that in there. You can change the icons there with the Loke programmer if it's not, again, already in there. Um, but so if I buy a locomotive from, say, Bowser, and it's got correct. an ESU... Uh, decoder in it. Right. When I put it on, it's going to come up and say, this is a new locomotive on your layout. Right, exactly. And when that happens, as you see here, all of the icons already self-populate as well. Now, in this particular one, I didn't have a picture put into there yet. So, um, And some of them off the shelf just may not. So you can go in to edit locomotive and change that picture without a problem. Um, if but you, at least you've gotten started. That's and right. And you don't even need to know where the uh, where the horn is in this locomotive no, because it's that is already it's already there. That's already told. You. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, and that's going to happen with with any uh, we're working with. Okay. Now tell me about this one because a lot of our viewers may not uh, know what we're looking at. Here. Right. This is a model by Oscision. This is one of our uh, Australian manufacturers. So anything coming with ESU decoders from Oscision will have a decoder in it already that has Railcom Plus. So now we do have an engine on the screen, but it's basically still going to do exactly the same thing. Once I put that on the track, 
you're going to see that same white bar come up yep. and now it says ACB 4404. Uh, we press OK or open rather and now we have an Australian K5 instead of the uh, uh, P5 off of the Susquehanna engine. So That's fantastic. Um, so yeah, um, and same thing, all the icons show up, they're all instantly available to be used. Um, now, this is an engine that I did a self-install on. Um, this was a Broadway Limited engine that we put an ESU decoder in. So when we set it up um, on my home um, Log programmer, we went in and we changed the icons as well. All of the ESU files, you'll notice it, it popped up here, so I'm going to go ahead and press open. All of our default ESU files that you download off of our website also have all of these icons already set up. Excellent. So for the last seven years now, we've been putting these out that no one's really been able to use unless they've used the ecosystem. Right. So now that we have a North American system that has Railcon built in, everything will self-populate. And you can see even this one did as well. So, so I'm right there, it's, it's already up. Excellent. Um, very, very simple. That makes it really easy to get started and get running right out of the, the box from the hobby shop. Uh, thank you, Matt, for joining us. Uh, Matt has been doing a number of segments with us on Train Masters to introduce the uh, cab control system, so be sure to check out our website uh, for more of those.